Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the Appalachian Summit's bush trip. Leg nine today from Mike Ferrell Field, which I think was close to Mullins, something like that. We're going to Raynell. Raynell, let's go. All right, it's time to get going. Let's do exactly that. Easy mountain runway, let's go. Oh, I was changing my... No, no, no one saw nothing. No one saw nothing. We're always at the center of the thing here. We haven't got much room here. Come on, plane. You can do it. Come on, plane. Let's go. Avoid the tree. That tree was a pain on the way in, too. All right, 94 degrees for 2 minutes 28. We'll start our clock once we've turned around. This house up here on the top of the hill. Again, it's all top of the hill stuff over here. Crazy turn, it's fair enough. Look, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Goodbye Mullins. Goodbye Mike Ferrell Field or whatever it was called. Uh oh, sorry about that. Yeah, bumper button. And that's what happens. Time to start our clock at least. Rich knob. More giggling. God, the wind. After taking off from Mike Ferrell Field, gain a visual on Rich Knob, a local high point that stands 3,355 feet above sea level. And it's the local high point in the area. Well, I'm not seeing many distinct peaks out here, but hey, maybe it's that one in front of us. Seems a bit far to be two minutes away, but we'll see. We shall see, or won't we? Alright, we can probably trim up a little bit. Trim down. Whichever, which, whichever of the trims is necessary. While we fight the wind. I mean, like, which of these could possibly be Rich Knob? Kinda crazy, really. There is not a single peak here at all. We've got about a minute to go, but then take off, we're slow, so probably uh, a little bit more than that. But we'll see. We'll see when the purple arrow moves, whether we're above a mountain. We're above all, we're in a mountain range, obviously. But a distinct peak. Again, more uh, cleared fields and farms, I guess, on the top of the mountains, on the top of the hills. What does it mean? What's it all for? Why has this been carved out on the cliff face here? Weird. I guess it's for some kind of crops, maybe, that like being on hills. We've got... No, I don't know if it's a town or a, a village or just a farmstead to our left called Odd. And then right in front of us, it's either BAM, although it's probably BAM. There we go, apparently we're above Rich Knob. 63 degrees now for 1 minute 50. Flat Top Lake. Rich Knob Site Interstate 77. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, we're, it, look, there's just so many Interstate 77s, it's hard not to see them. And Flat Top Lake just beyond. Right. All this sighting of stuff that is invisible. Mm -hmm. I see it on the Google. Well, I see a yellow map thing on, on the Google map. We're about to see if it's 77. Yes, it is. Interstate 77. Can't even see where that would be. Big freeway. Big interstate. Big highway. I 
there it is. I think it's going through that town of Ghent. G H E N T. It's the name of the card game in. I uh, know oh it's Gwent, isn't it? Why do? Ghent means something. Oh, there's a town called Flattop. Where's the lake? So this this tiny body of water here is Flattop Lake. Good lord. And oh, there we go. There's the interstate. Right under our right wing right now. Giant building there. Wonder what that is. Some kind of factory maybe. Yep, there we go. There's the 77. And here's Flat Top Lake. I guess technically we're up on a peninsula that would be a flat top, I guess. Alright, 63 degrees. No, we're already doing 63 degrees. We haven't made it. The purple arrow's not happy yet. Now it is 60 degrees for 3 minutes 7 seconds. Friesland Mountain. After passing Flattop Lake, gain a visual on Friesland Mountain, a heavily uh, vegetated uh, piak. Man, heavily veg vegetated. Gee, I'd hate to be vegetated. Must be animal farms, these, these green fields on the top of all the hills. It must be good for the cows or the sheep or the horses or whatever to be up on the mountains. Land Mountain Vegetated Word you don't see every day Bank of Zarkwon Look at this. Definitely heavy, heavily vegetated, although we're not even near yet. How long was it? Three minutes. So we've done two minutes. Uh, two minutes. But I'm guessing it's going to be this one in front of us because... Oh. Hey, I found Pluto. And we're just on below us now, to the left there. Maybe that green patch on the hill is Pluto. We knew it wasn't a planet. There it is right there. Couldn't possibly be a planet if it's up on a hill in West Virginia somewhere. West Virginia. Mount Mama. I guess these are the country roads. Songs about West Virginia, isn't it? Where have I got my song from stuff? Country roads take me home to the place where I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. There you go, it is mountainous, true. In the Appalachians, 55 degrees for 45 seconds. New River, just beyond Friesland Mountain, is New River. It's a brand new river. What's behind door number three, John? That's right, it's a new river. why it's called New River. How does that come about? To the place where I belong. Oh, already? Oh yeah, it was 45 seconds. Well, we haven't even done 40 seconds. But anyway, 64 degrees for 348. Meadow River Wildlife Management Area. Paralleling, paralleling, I'm doing it again. How can I not say this word? Paralleling 
Interstate 64, fly over the prominent peaks of Buffalo Knob and then Fish Mountain to reach Meadow River Wildlife Management Area, a wetland habitat known for deer, grouse and waterfowl. That's grouse, mate. There's sandstone below us. Paralleling. 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 That's how it should be pronounced. Buffalo Knob and Fish Mountain. Bruh. What's with these names? There's towns everywhere apparently. I can't see any, but it's on the map. We've got Burry Town, Lock Bridge, Green Sulphur Springs, Elton, Ramp. I love these noun places. <laughs> Ramp. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't done a uh, thumbnail. Oh, just nailed it. Just nailed it right there. That'll do. 13.51 on the clock. Beautiful. Where are you going, Plane? Where are you going, Plane? I just need a little bit more. Don't just just hold on. Just hold on. Try to try to write yourself. Good good plane. Thank you. Appreciate you. This. Look at this West Virginian mountain, lakes, trees, rivers, highways. Beautiful. It's beautiful. We're supposed to be doing 64 here. Following the 64. Speaking of we oh, is that how they label their no? That's just a coincidence. The the Interstate 64 happens to be. Heading in 64 degrees. Gotta be a coincidence. Lawn. Yep. Another noun town. I love me these American noun towns. Like bee. And lawn. And ramp. And Vail coming up as well. There you go. Grassy meadows. I mean, that's two words, but it's still it's still pretty uh, descriptive now. And all right, we've apparently done our well, we've done our three minutes twelve of three minutes forty eight. We're going way too fast today. Way too fast. All right. Now we want twelve degrees for two minutes nine seconds, and we're talking about crazy mountain runways. We have. A patch of green on top of a hill somewhere up here. Raynell. Turn north and land at Raynell Airport. I'd love to. Where is it? It's quite a patch of green in the picture. Very green. But also just surrounded by trees. I mean, right in front of us there's quite a prominent bit of green. That might be it. I might even need to gain some height just to see what I'm dealing with first. It's gotta be it, right? Or is that just part of that road there? Another minute away, basically. Hello, got airport? Not it there, is it? Oh, must have been it there. I'm gonna have to look on this. It's over there somewhere. Okay. Uh, WV30, yes, that is the right one. So it's not that. That is just the road there. Oh, wait. Is that it there? 
Has it got a building? It doesn't have a building on the picture I've got. Every hill here looks like it could be a runway. Think that's it there? Just below us? No, no, can't be. No. Oh. It seems too far away on the uh, on the map. That's definitely it, right? Okay. Okay then. We have wind. I don't have wind. Okay, so this is it. We're just going to turn around. Oh, that was it, apparently. Let's just land back this way. Hopefully that's fine for the wind. Just hiding on top of a mountain. There we go. Let's turn around. And that's uh, Heinz down there. Just in front of us is what looks like Charmco. What a great name. And then that's Charmco over there. And then Raynell's just well, in front of us now somewhere. Down in that valley, I guess. There we go. Here's Crazy Mountain Runway. Basically level with it right now. And I need some power. That does suggest to me we're now into the wind, so it's probably a good thing that we're going this way. Feels like it might have even been a very strong tailwind. I feel like there's something to do with the purple arrow line that tells me what the wind is, but I don't really understand it, to be honest. Like that middle section that's sort of basically fading. Yeah, this is the right way to land. Look at that. Perfect. Good thing we did that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Plane, what are you doing? Plane. Plane. All good. No one saw nothing. Everyone's fine. No one's dead. Everyone's alive. We made it. What a beautiful little runway this is. Look at this. That was League 9, I think, of the Appalachian Summits bush trip here in West Virginia. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.